So I guess the ultimate question for today is, what do you smell like? <laughs> you thought you were smelling like some Jimmy Cho? No, you smell like some baby. No. You thought you was rocking some op session? No, baby, you rocking some skunk session. She said she sprayed on some Gucci. No, honey, you sprayed on some funky. You know, you getting out of the shower, you know what I'm saying? You just took a nice hot shower and you feeling good. You know, your pores is open, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, after you dry off, you know, you hit yourself with that little tss, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know, you might, you know, you, you know, you might put a little, uh, uh, um, you know, body lotion or, you know, some something like that on your body, on your skin while your pores is open. You know what I'm saying? Some smell good. So you smell good. You know what I'm saying? And that scent can linger on and on throughout the day, you know, for several hours. You know what I'm saying? That, that, and, and, and when you smell it, you so accustomed to it and you so used to it, you may not really even trip on it because, your nose have got your nose and your senses has become numb to the smell, but other people can smell it. You know, you've been working hard all day. You know what I'm saying? You didn't put eight, nine, ten, twelve hours in. You've been working hard all day, right? You've been, I mean, you've been hustling and humping. You know, you've been moving stuff, picking up stuff. You've been going here, going there, all kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, you get that little, that little twins cup. You be like, ooh. Oh, what is that? Who is that? Me? Ooh. Y'all been there? You know what I'm saying? When you 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 done got some musty. I'm not talking about a little musty, but you done got some musty. <laughs> you know, you got you done got a little funky. You like, oh man, I can't be around nobody. I gotta go straight home when I go to the job. I gotta hit the shower. Cause this ain't cool. And don't let it be, don't let it be where, you know. You got to go several hours still before you get to your destination. So now you got to sit in that and it's just sitting in you. It's like a, <laughs> y'all remember that, uh, that, that Charlie Brown, what was the dude named, uh, pig pen? <laughs> it just, it don't matter where you go. It's just, you're in the, 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 the aroma of the funk. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of the stank. It just, it's on you. And if you got to go several hours till you get to your destination or before you can get home or it, and it just, you know what I'm saying? Think of how you smell to God. Yeah. How, think of how you smell to God with your stanky attitude, your funky, smelly attitude. I don't care how much obsession you spray on and Jimmy Cho lotion you put on and, 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 and guilty by Gucci that you wear. You stink. So I guess the ultimate question for today is, what do you smell like? And then after, you know what I'm saying? After we didn't, we, we didn't got out of shower and we got our, we got our smell good on our body. You know, we get dressed, we feeling good. You know what I'm saying? We confident, you know, and, and, and we get everything ready. We walk out the door, we hit the ride, we go into work. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as we get to work, Somebody say something to us and it's, we got, we, you know, we got an attitude. Somebody say something, you know, just trying to be funny, whatever. And we, what? Or somebody do something we don't like and we ready. Hold on. Not today. It's not going to happen today. You know what I'm saying? That ugly attitude, that stank attitude, that predetermined I ain't finna take no ish today attitude. How do you think you smell? Oh, you, you may have put on some smell good and you may be looking fly. You may be looking fine. But how do you think you smell to God? How do you think others smell you when you come into a room, when you come around? You don't think nobody can smell that stink attitude and that, and, and that, that funky you know, that funky aura that you have, that you seem to be in. You ever run into people like that? They think they so fly. They tight. Think they got all this stuff together. But their attitude stinks. It's horrible. It reeks. You know what I'm saying? I know a few people like that. Matter of fact, truth be told, <laughs> 
Your boy used to be one of the type of people. You know what I'm saying? Thought my stuff didn't stink. You know, and, and though I was looking good and, and felt good, you know what I'm saying? And 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 dressed well and I could speak well and all that. I had a stank, funk, nasty attitude. And and it wasn't until the Lord gave me the scripture that I had to really examine myself. And so today I want to share that scripture with y'all. But yo, before we get into that, please like this video, share this video on all your platforms. Please make sure you hit that red subscribe button right there. Doesn't cost anything to do that. And also hit that bell notification so you always notify whenever I upload content. You dig? Let's get into this. Since I was a young boy, I've always loved the, the sweet and savory smells of good cooking. You know what I'm saying? For my grandma, she used to get in the kitchen and sometimes, you know, I would just go, I'd be sitting at the kitchen table and just watching her. I wouldn't really say too much, but I was just watching her cook because I loved the smell that came from the things that she cooked, right? It, 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 it left, it was a savory smell. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed smelling it. It, it made me feel good. It put me in a good disposition. It, the, the smells that came from her cooking were savory. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to enjoy them. I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be rushed. I wanted, I wanted to savor it. I wanted to fully engage in the experience <laughs> from watching her. And, and from it smelling one way to then spices coming together and it smelling another way to, to, you know, it's cooking in the oven or she's frying it or she's doing whatever she's doing. I enjoyed the savor of the smells because it smells so good. I didn't want it to end. I wanted to really experience it so I could hold on to it. So then when it was over, I could remember it. My senses could remember it. It left a good memory and an impression on me. It's something I wanted to get back to. It's something I wouldn't forget. That's what savor means when you savor something. You enjoy it. You want to experience it over and over and over. And it's so good that you don't want it to go too fast. You, you, want, to, you want it to take its time because you want to savor it. It's so good to you. It puts you in a good disposition. You get happy and you get light. <laughs> you may get a little silly and playful. You know, it just, when you savor something, you dig? And so that's what we're going to be talking about. Savor, a sweet smelling savor. Is that you? Do you smell like a, a, a baby's dirty diaper or a senior citizen's you know, like the pen's undergarment? Or what about a dumpster? You know? Do you smell like that skunk that when you're driving on the road and it hits you and you try to roll up your window and stop the AC or the heat so it doesn't get in your car? Do you smell like that skunk? Do you smell like someone who hasn't washed their feet in four or five days? Is that how you smell? Haven't you ever heard somebody say, man, what's wrong with them? They got a stank attitude. Or what's what's what then what then crawled up them and died? You know those those verbiages? What then crawled up them and died? That means they're rotten on the inside. Something crawled up in them and died. Just metaphorically, but something crawled up in them and it died. And it's now it's starting to rot. It smells. Or someone have a stank attitude. No one likes that, right? Because you don't smell good. You know that odor that lingers after you've left fish out all night long in, you know, in hot temperatures? Or what about uh, a woman's menstrual pad? You know how awful that smells, right? Or maybe something that's rotten. You know, maybe you have a rotten smell or or a dead flesh, you know, a dead flesh smell. Have you ever smelled dead flesh, you know, rotting flesh or or burning flesh? Have you ever felt 
Have you ever smelt someone that was that they was on fire? Smells horrible. And this is what our sin smells like to God. Yeah, if we have a sweet savor when we're walking holy and in the things of God, then our sin also has a smell to it unto God. And those things that are covered in sin, they all have smells. Whether it's adultery or fornication, whether it's cursing or lying, whether it's stealing, whether it's, you know, uh, disobedience. They all have a distinctive smell and ain't none of them good. Now, the scripture we're coming out of is 2 Corinthians 2 and 15, right? And it reads as such. For we are to God, the fragrance of Christ. That's who we are, us that are saved. We're the fragrance, okay? We are to God, the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved. And among those who are perishing. That's what we are. That's what we are to God. The fragrance of Christ. Right? Because to those that are being saved and we are witnessing and preaching and sharing the gospel and sharing our testimony. We are a fragrance of Christ unto those that are accepting Christ. But also to those that don't know Christ and they're and they're they may be on their deathbed. They may be in their older age. They may be, you know, it may be their last straw. You dig? And 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 they see us professing Christ and preaching the gospel and sharing our testimony and the good news and willing to listen to them and love on them and understand and empathize with them and give them the truth. Not a lie, not what feels good, but give them the truth so that they can know the truth. To them that are perishing, we are also a fragrance of Christ. Because without the ministry, without the, ministry, without the word going forth, without the word being preached, then how would they know Christ? How would the word be able to come to them? They would just perish. But God says, we are a a sweet savor unto him in Christ. Because when he sees the son, he sees a sweet savor. So if we're in Christ, that's what he sees from us. A sweet savor. I don't know about you, but that's how I want to be. I want to be perishing as a fragrance of Christ. When I die, I want to die in God and as a fragrance of Christ. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. That's that's what I. That's how I want to go. I want to be a fragrance of Christ while I'm yet saved, and others are being saved through my through my walk and my example, and yet also being able to in my walk and example for those that are perishing, as well as when I perish, that I'm a fragrance of Christ unto God. You did. So instead of us walking around here. Thinking like, you know, we got it all together. Thinking like we smell good because we didn't, you know, we didn't took care of ourselves and our hygiene may be on point. But how is your attitude? How is your demeanor? How is it? How is your greeting? How is your communication? How is your love? How is your giving? How is your prayer life? You did? Because all these things add to the sweet savor smell that comes from our life when we're walking in God. But when we're not walking in God, do you really think that you don't have a smell? Do you really think that when you step outside of God that you don't take on the smell of the world? Yeah, the world has a smell. Sin has a smell. Disobedience has a smell. It all outside of God has their own individual smells and ain't none of them good. I, I just gave you a whole list. But when we're in God, we have a smell of anointing. We have a smell of newness. We have a smell of freshness. We have a smell of power. You dig? When we're in God, we have a sweet, savory aroma about us and God loves it. You dig?
And he loves that smell because we're in Christ. We're in Christ Jesus. And when he sees his son, all he sees is the love that he has for his son. All he sees is the blood that was shed by his son. All he smells is the sweet savor that's coming from his son. And so because we're in Christ Jesus, we also have that sweet smelling savor. You did. And the beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit is such a gentle, a gentleman, such a gentle person. You know what I'm saying? He's always going to he's always going to let you know when you know when when your twang is a little off. You know what I'm saying? He's always going to give you a little nudge, yo. <laughs> you need to get that right. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you need to make sure you take care of that so it don't start stinking. Yo, you need to repent for that cuz you don't want your 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 sweet smell to start turning anything different. The Holy Spirit will always let us know, yo. Your smell is getting a little off. You need to take care of that, you dig? Because the Holy Spirit is a gentleman like that. He's going to always let us know what's going on. He's ne never going to have us go into somewhere and we stank. Because it's not a good representative of him or of his father, you dig? Jesus is never going to have us going somewhere stanking and never and not have told us. Oh, he's always going to nudge us. He's always going to give us... Hey, check this out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you might wanna, uh, yo, you know he he gonna let us know some kind of way. You ain't cool. But wouldn't it be horrible if somebody know you stinking and 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 they looking at you and they conversate with you, but they ain't telling you, yo, what's going on with you? See, a friend would be like, what, did you shower today? Yeah. <laughs> You know, dude, you got this. What did you step in? Is something on your what's going on with you, bro? They're gonna let you know it ain't cool. Cause they don't want you embarrassing them, embarrassing yourself, or going anywhere else and being an embarrassment. But a person that don't care about you will just let you go on about your way. You're like, ooh, I'm so glad they gone, because man, they was killing me. That's not a friend. But the Holy Spirit gonna say, yo. That 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 attitude you shared right there, you, you you need to get that right. That wasn't cool. Or hey yo, you know that person asked you for you know a dollar and you got ten in your pocket, you couldn't spare one. Or hey yo, you know this person spoke to you and said good morning, and and you looked them dead in their face and didn't say nothing. The Holy Spirit will let us know when we ain't smelling cool. You know what I'm saying? And the Holy Spirit will keep letting us know, even when we stank and we foul, it'd be like the Holy Spirit be like, you need to go handle that. You need to go get on your knees in prayer. You need to fast. You need to really study your word and, and, and meditate on his word because you stink. Is that you? I know that's been me. Oh, plenty of times that has been me. But I thank God that the Holy Spirit has, has shown me or he sent people to tell me, you know what I'm saying? Or some kind of way I got the message that, you know what? Your attitude stinks like, shh. Yeah. So I've been there. So I'm not saying nothing. I'm just sharing with something with y'all that I, I haven't experienced myself. And that's the, one of the reasons why I can talk about it. <laughs> so listen, on this Faith Over Fear Friday, you dig? Don't be afraid to clean yourself up. Don't be afraid to go to God and say, God, I smell like garbage. I smell horrible. I don't want to keep smelling like this, God. Please cleanse me. Clean me up with your blood. Receive me. Let, let me be a family member. Forgive me of my sins, Lord God. I don't want to keep sinning and save my soul. Let me start afresh. Give me some fresh cologne. Give me some fresh water, some fresh cologne, some new clothes, you know, give me the armor of the, of the spirit and let me go on smelling good unto you. Yeah, power smells good, but so does mercy. Confidence, yeah, confidence smells real nice, you know what I'm saying? But so does kindness, a sweet savor, something that that when I come around, people enjoy 
the smell. They enjoy the savor of my love. They enjoy the savor of my kindness. They enjoy the savor of my, my, my gentleness. They enjoy the savior, savor of my, of my, my lightness, you know, being able to laugh and, 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 and make light and, and be comical. Intellect. <laughs> Intellect smells good, believe it or not. It smells really good. But so does obedience. They enjoy the savor of my sincerity. Let people enjoy the savor of my smell, God, because I want you to enjoy the savor of my smell. I don't be I want to go around here smelling no more, God. That's what. Especially when I can smell myself. Especially when I know my attitude is bad and I know, you know, I'm in a bad disposition. And I really don't need to be going around nobody. Help me, God. Cleanse me. Clean me up, God, so now I can be smelling the right way and I can be smelling good. That's my desire. That's what I want. Because I want to represent you well. Do you want that? That's what I want for myself. I hope you want that for you. You dig? So I guess the ultimate question for today is, what do you smell like? Thank you so much for joining me on this Faith That We Fear Friday. Just want to come share the word with you, man, that we got to be careful that we stay in Christ so we can have a sweet smelling savior, savor into his nostrils, right? Because we are saved and by walking in Christ and being saved, it smells good unto God. And even those that have died, they have already perished, but they died believing. They died believing in a, in a risen savior. That smells so good to God. He loves it. You did? He enjoys when we are walking with him and, and we are following his commands and we are being obedient to his word and we are loving other people like he loved us. We smell good to God. He did? So I just want to encourage you, man, to smell good unto God. Right? And, and, and even be encouraged that those that have passed on already and, and we know they were saved to the bone, they smell good to God too. You dig? This is your man, Levon. Be blessed on today. Remember, Lamelli E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. Go on the website, check out the merch. I hope you're smelling good today. Don't try to cover your sin with smell good. Because all it does is your sin burns off the smell good and it just illuminates the smell of your sin. No, let's go to God. Let's repent. Let's be cleansed. Let's get right. So now we can put on a freshness and a newness with some fresh clothes and some fresh smell good. It's called the anointing. And God can be pleased and we can have a sweet, savor smell unto him and unto man. This is your man, LeVon. One love. I'm out.